This is Strung. He was left on a pile of trash alongside his brother. This is Lovely. She was found in the rubble after the earthquake. And then there's Kervance. When he was a year and a half, he was so small, people thought he was only a few months old. And so sick, few thought he'd survive. Even though doctors said not to bother, someone took a chance on him. That someone is Maud Laurent. And Kervance, Lovely and Strong are just three of the 97 kids she's welcomed into her home, a home of happy chaos. <laughs> the constant singing, smiles, and laughter belie painful pasts. He said, my mom, my mom put, put us in the garbage. Many of the children are too young to remember their stories. Perhaps that's why Kervans is always checking with Maud to ask if she's his mother. Mommy Maud, are you my mom? And he sometimes says his last name is what? Laurent. Kervans, Mesidor Laurent. And what do you say? Yes, you are my son. Can you say yes? Maud considers them all her children. They'd likely be on the street if it weren't for her. Some even have living parents who can't or won't take care of them. Raising nearly 100 kids isn't easy, but Maud has help from Catherine Savelle, a French professor from Maryland. Together, they're teaching the kids to become self-sufficient adults. Tu veux pas parler? On a recent trip to visit his family, Mano found a job doing yard work. He brought the money back to his mother, and his mother was very happy because she was able to send Manu's sister to the market to buy some food. They hadn't eaten for a couple of days by then, so he felt very proud um, that he was able to help his mother out. Every victory, a cause for celebration. Yay! I'm Cecilia, and this is Keith. We've been traveling to Haiti to tell their story. It's a story of determination and faith a story of community. A story of hope.